not a bad pairing for him either. Uh, I don't think Sonic has a bad pairing, honestly. I think he plays well with everyone. He's so used to having somebody following around him with tails that I think he just naturally <laughs> pairs with everybody. Anyone strong enough to pick up those KOs where he can't. But we'll see. They're going to rock this composition for the run back here. I believe it was just straight core and Bayo the entire set in winner's bracket, correct? Yeah, that is correct. And I, I don't, definitely don't see uh, Void and Cosmo switching at all during the course of the second set. And Void rocking that Pewfat tag out of respect for his fellow CLG teammates mm -hmm. over on the melee side of things. All right. Oh, Cosmo's actually handling himself pretty well in that 2v1, just pinning and holding his ground, taking advantage of the fact that Blue Team was too intimidated. Yeah, barely taking any damage so far. And as the slowest character on the screen, that's particularly noteworthy. It, it's, it's, no, it's both that and that Void has been spending most of the game off stage, and yet Cosmo still is almost entirely untouched. His positioning is really, really on point to scare Blue Team from committing. Could have been another kill there for Cosmos if he had read Como uh, staying in place with his tech. The jab just oh. fending them both off. All right, one hedgehog against the world. Almost finding the, the combo into the up smash too on top of that. Looking for these back airs, not going to find much, but uh, Como still able to run enough interference to keep uh, Leo in the game. Got the forward throw, but nothing off of it. Como not quite ready, but Leo definitely is. All that setup time from the back throw, very easy to react to. You don't even have to try. You just have to yeah. know the timing. It's uh, both that and the down throw having such large windups. Of course, uh, Como is going to end up losing that stock to Void's bouncing fish. Void near death right now. The only thing keeping Red Team with a slight lead. Yeah, you saw that pins and needles combo <laughs> right there? My feet are tingling just thinking about it. Yeah, you don't want to be asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're in loser's finals against Como and Leo. Or, I'm sorry, against Cosmos and Void. But uh, this is looking like a repeat of their first encounter already. It's, Five stocks to three. It's actually looking like almost even more commanding uh, for the red team. It, previously, it was down to like the last stocks on almost every game, but uh, red team looks like they still remember their rhythm that's carried them through on the winner's side, and it's proving just as effective even with the Sonic switch. Yeah, maybe not the spark that they needed necessarily. And again, Cosmo's so proficient at the Bayonetta matchup throughout months and months of singles, right? Definitely carries over into this format as well, but the laggy throw gonna get him killed. Maybe should have just picked back throw. Go for the interference as well. Yeah, in that case, you just throw the teammate into each other, mess up that uh, smash attack. Looking for an edge guard void going very, very deep. But meanwhile, Cosmo's keeping the pressure up on stage. Crazy to see him doing that while past max rage percents with Sheik. A super light character, but Leo already wiped off the board. It's looking like Sonic isn't even the problem here. Yeah, and... Crazy that Void is still has not died. Finally, finally able to take off that stock, but that's already with Blue Team missing five of theirs. Oh my god, the ping pong combo's already coming out. Big for the red team. Couple miscues there. Pummels or no pummels. Things you have to work out with new teammates. Mm -hmm. But these guys seem to be adjusting quite well throughout the course of this bracket. Yeah, and it's hard for uh, Leo to get anything started. Every time he finds a Witch Twist, either Void or Cosmos know exactly what angle to contest it from to stop the combo. Oh, the shot hitting right over the ledge, but Ooh. just going to go straight for that down air. Yeah, I think Leo is just like, let's save the time. Yeah, I've, I've had enough of this game. Move on. Had to borrow a sock from Como as well. Sonic at least doing a good job of staying alive, but I don't know if he's proactive enough with this character. Might need some big hitboxes of his own to contend with Corrin and keep Sheik away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are going to see them back out to the character select once again. And yeah, he's going to switch. Who's it going to be, though? Lucina, Corrin. Lucina, okay. Going to be for the Lucina. So this was also a character that they did not try in their yep. prior set. Definitely worth an attempt here. I think uh, I think Lucina can have the uh, the sort of range, especially to contest with uh, Sheik, as well as a boxer out with yes. the Dancing Blade. Yeah, when Sheik doesn't have all that time and space to play a very neutral, heavy approach to this matchup, I think Lucina can really devastate her Especially just in terms of kill power versus weight, but also the fact that Sheik is almost exclusively attacking with her limbs unless it's projectiles. Mm. And Lucina, one of the best answers to that. The double bouncing fish on both members of blue team. I like it by Void. The witch twist happening right there. Como too far away to interrupt. Uh, wait, no, never mind. That's his partner. Whoop. <laughs> okay, fair one to upbeat. No, not going to be able to extend it. Void, I mean... We were talking about how good Cosmos is against Bayo, but of course the same could be said about um, CLG Void. This guy, he didn't get to where he is, top 10 in the world, without 
being really good against the best character. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, this is a matchup that he's been studying extensively in singles, so it's still going to bleed over into his doubles play. And fortunately oh. for him, I think we're going to see a lot less of the Void Curse where he outplays you for an entire stock and then dies at 20 to Rage. Yeah, the, the tragedy not so much active, at least not in this doubles bracket. Yeah, he's got that Cosmos Insurance right now. Oh, oh but his Cosmos is going to interrupt. Yeah. He does with the back here. Perfect. Saving his teammate's life. Those competing knockback vectors. Really smart by Cosmos. Able to just pick up the save, which could have been a terrible moment for them. We almost saw Cosmos kill Void and then potentially get punished for death. Mm-hmm. Como going off stage. Oh, just overshoots with the counter a little bit. That does destroy Corrin's recovery, but you have to time it toward the end of her arc. Yeah, and in the meantime, Void was able to pick up that kill on Leo too while Como was busy with that edge guard. It's gonna come in handy for Red Team. Every little stock counts. They do have once again a bloody Void. He's still alive despite taking so much punishment. They're just having a hard time pinning down the proper kill setup. Cosmos is being uh, too much of a thorn to let that happen. Void definitely a survivor. Oh, okay, just gonna go for the raw dash attack. Misses it. Still doesn't die, though. There's no way for Bayo to kill out of a grab there, but the up tilt from Lucina. Meanwhile, Corrin dying at the same time. Coming back in style together. That's it. That's it. I, ooh, go on. The response, man. You, you got it, man. You know, you know <laughs> oh what it my is. God. <laughs> just the immediate retribution from both teams. Really, really clean. Instant karma. <laughs> I, it was for the taunting, I think. The ping pong from... Void in Cosmos is ridiculous. She, even though she doesn't do a lot of damage per hit, she puts you right back to your partner. And when you're hitting as hard as Corrin is, that could get ugly so quickly. Mm -hmm. Very, very favorable angles from a team perspective. Even that Bouncing Fish nearly lining up for that tipper up smash. Not quite going to do the trick, though. Both members of blue, uh, Red Team actually having a hard time landing against Blue Team's Assault. That follow-up off the top by uh, Leo so good. That's the Void Curse right there. <laughs> Oh no, you invoked it! You did this I, to him! I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'd love to say I didn't know, but I've been commentating for a while, and uh, it seems to be the theme. Mm. But it looks like uh, they still they still have signs of life in them. Both uh -oh. both Como and Cosmos on the verge of death, though. It's going to be a matter of which Fire Emblem character dies first. Leo taking a page out of Light's book, and I guess out of Cosmos' book as well, making sure to hit Como back out of which time to keep him in it. 124, things are definitely getting dangerous for him at this point. But he's just going to hang on the ledge. Lucina actually with a pretty solid plank game. She can do her ledge hop aerials, re-grab the edge. Dolphin Slash is hard to contend with. But that which time is all that Leo needs in order to take out Void Stock. He was being so proactive and trying to keep his teammates safe. that He was actually eating so much abuse in the process. He died first before Cosmos did. So in one sense, mission accomplished. You kept your teammate alive. But uh, there is actually a limit you have to play around in terms of how much you're uh, putting on the line for your teammate. And the ladies showing up big this time. Actually, both yep. of them playing ladies, yeah. but... Uh, ladies are really good in Smash 4. They are. Yeah. They are. This is a feminist <laughs> work of art. It's very nice. Nicely done, Sakurai. Nicely done. I like it. So right now, we have an even set 1-1 one, one apiece for both teams. I oh. love that little Mexican standoff yes. they start with where... Oh, literally, actually. <laughs> <laughs> But as you were saying, though, like they show a lot more respect in terms of each other's punish games. After, after how that previous game ended, they're like, okay, wait a minute. We both can run away with momentum right now. We need to be careful who gets sent offstage first. Because right now, blue team offstage is providing a ton of free damage for the red team. And Como with no jump going to find himself in an early grave. Red team reestablishing themselves here. They had quite a good thing going until Void lost that early stock. I feel like they might think that the last game should have been theirs and they want to show you oh my goodness and they are definitely showing us quite a bit so much damage on leo ready to go and uh como on the verge of being edgar once again cosmos actually switching it up to keep the pressure going on leo so that he can't take out void and so little damage tacked on already we got two stocks out the window that <laughs> that bouncing fish just sniping right by the teammate to take out uh leo's stock wow yeah who <laughs> says she can't kill <laughs> And the amazing thing is, like, uh, he's rocking the pew fat tag, and meanwhile, yeah. the, me the melee setup, we can hear pew, pew, you, pew, pew, you. Yeah, I hope you guys could hear that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the old pew fat combo is running. Yeah, I see ass fat on the screen. So, guys, multi twitch it up. Watch yeah. some melee, too. <laughs> the, the CLG got smiling on both doubles games. Oh, okay, no, never mind. Como still had his double jump ready to go. And both members are racing. Finally, Void losing his first stock to that up smash. But still, such a strong positioning. What an answer from Leo. He got hit, and then he just decided to respond to the up smash. <laughs> so it's, it's that, that Ome Shoryu, right? 
Any right. character can do it. Right. It's like, hey, I know you're going to jump in on me because you want another piece. But uh, we're going to go ahead and put a stop on that. Meanwhile, Red Team once again running away with this ledge presence, still keeping damage after damage. And it's uh, they've been finding a lot of success, both of that bouncing fish and that pin, just closing out those stocks real fast. Leo finding that crucial back air there to keep them in the game, but the Diamond Cutter taking out his own stock soon after. Boy, it's such a sharpshooter in doubles. He plays extremely evasively, and then as soon as he sees a big opening, not that Sheik has many to kill you early with, but he's going to take it. Either up smashes, really deep bouncing fishes, or even something as simple as a jab jab and then roll away. Mm -hmm. Loves to reset to neutral. The one thing that Void did that was so clean was on his way to follow up on Kama after sending him to the left side, he took a little detour to hit Leo out of his Witch Twist to save his teammate and then still kept the edge guard going. Such amazing awareness. The multitasking, so important in doubles. You have to just kind of sit back a little bit and absorb the whole screen at once. If you have tunnel vision on any part of it, you could really hurt yourself. Well, what I do is I fog my vision so I see, oof, each team has one big blob right there so Whoa. quickly. Well, just in an instant, taking out both members of Blue Team, I'm actually not even sure how it was that Leo died, but just was soon the neck, after. The neck from the up throw, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, Corrin's throws, if you're a little too close, you're going to die super early. Sim similar to Ryu's, Ryu's throw. up throw, yeah, yeah, exactly. So scary. Those DLC throws, man. Bayonetta's forward throw can kill you super early, too. You get your money's worth of them. And we're going to... It looks like Leo is just tempted to peek around, going to go back to the Bayonetta, potentially their last game. If I were Leo, I knew he had that Lucario as the ace in the hole, I would ask Como to go Sonic and pick Lucario. I think that was, that's, I mean, we've seen so much success with, again, Ken and Sue doing that same team. I would have loved to see that as an attempt against Red Team, especially with how commanding that previous game was. It looks like uh, they're thrown off a little bit by the Lucina pick, but Red Team has definitely found their footing now. Another character notably absent from Leo's lineup here has been Meta Knight, who I think is absolutely disgusting in doubles. Oh yeah, with the, uh, especially if you have a teammate who can pop people up like Sonic, Sonic. can. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of potential here that we're just not seeing. I think Leo really wants to stick it out with Bayo. Um, he hasn't switched at all in this top four. Yeah, it's only been Como switching around, and it's Como switching again back to Corrin, unfortunately meeting his end very quickly for his first stock off the top. Yeah. Now, also, Corrin Lucina, another disgusting team. Leo, of course, has the Falchion characters on lock. But I, I don't know. They're doing quite well. It's pretty much dead even at this point. Yeah. A lot of hypotheticals, of course, but... This is the universe we're living in. This is the real timeline here. Yeah, the the other ones can just go ahead and enjoy their own parties. We're, we're splashing it up here at Smash and Splash. Yeah. Alpha timeline. We'll have to ask Doctor Strange. <laughs> 14 million different doubles combinations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I love that. Just backing off of Void, knowing that resetting to the center of the stage and dealing with the incoming Invincible Cosmos was the smarter play. Uh-oh, who's getting roofed? Okay. Not going to be able to carry Void once again. Smash DI ready to go. I see Leo, like, a little bit of hesitation whether or not he wants to assist Como. He ends up committing to taking out Void. Does he find it? He doesn't get all the way, but Como still managing to stay on stage, recovering successfully regardless. Oh, we see Como trying to answer pin for pin here. Not quite working out. And a big setup forward throw to up air. Excellent DI from Leo, though. Corrin's up air, one of the ones that's going to kill you at 80 or 180, depending on how you DI. Of course, oh. not, not actually that <laughs> It is going to actually take out uh, Como immediately afterwards, and then Leo soon to follow. We have four stocks to three, a Bloody Sheik, though, as one of them. But pinning down Void has been a continuing problem across this entire set, so uh, Void might be able to still make this stock last. And right there, we see just barely missing that tipper pin by uh, Como. These Cosmos. slight misalignments. Cosmos would have been the realest G if he traded stocks with Como there. Could have just downed it, and maybe even traded with the up B to save himself. But... Again, one of those things we're going to have to ask uh, Benedict Cumberpatch about. Mm -hmm. Not in this universe. Going to keep following up, though. Not going to go too hard on the uh, Cosmos Punish. Leo wanting to stay present by his teammate, recognizing how much abuse Como has been taking lately. These handoffs, though, between Cosmos and Void have just been so ridiculous. The low knockback on Sheik's throws making it extra easy, and a little bit of setup time, too. Cosmos has just been responding optimally every time. Not going to be able to find that Vanish kill. Meanwhile, Como just trying to build up some space for uh, Leo to take a stock. Not going to come together, though. They're able to find their neutral runs right now, though, while they're holding the stage. Just a matter of converting into a stock. The counter, though! Wow. All right. This is now slightly, very, very slightly in blue team's favor. Let's see if they can put a 
another game on the board here. Take it to a fifth. It's a matter of, oh, the mm -hmm. kick actually connecting right after the witch time, but bouncing fish soon afterwards, taking out uh, Como stock. Leo now at 123%. It's, just, it's now the contest between uh, Leo and Void. Whoever can live longer can win this game. We have Void already retreating to that ledge, playing very safe. Wow! <laughs> oh, the pass! Just diving in deep and finding that kick, putting Red Team in such a good position now. We've got a prime ping pong territory right now. Just a quick 50 for you and counting. Oh, okay, like the down air there when you're still being knocked back a little bit and you don't fast fall to the ground, that move is super annoying to deal with. Because mm -hmm. you just sent a stall there with a long hitbox for like 40 frames. Exactly. Oh, almost getting that tipper. Not quite though. But actually getting death percent on both opponents. Uh, Como really just one right punish away from turning this into a 1v1. Really sharking for these side Bs. And the one thing that's scary is actually if he throws out the right counter, he could kill both of them. That's true. I've <laughs> seen that way too many times. <laughs> and been the victim of it as well. So I definitely would sympathize with Team Cosmos and Void if that happened to them. That said, Cosmos has counter at his disposal as well. Could even see something like Sheik vanishing to activate it and getting out of there. Uh, maybe oh, I'm getting out of hand here. That, that, would, be, that would be the cutest 2v1 combo. Uh, almost cuter than mistaken allies back throw into witch time. So many ridiculous <laughs> things have happened. And of course, we're going to see them take on the winning team here, which is... Oh! Oh! oh which is too soon to call, perhaps! Oh, oh no! There we Cosmo's go. finding the punish right afterwards, but uh, good on Como to turn that into a proper contest, just finding the right time to scoop in with that grab. Uh, Void and Cosmos now having a shot at the uh, Grand Finals now. And props to Cosmos for keeping a level head there, mm -hmm. not being shook.